Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Raider Field in breezy, chilly, snow forecasty Hudson, Wisconsin for this evening's <laughs> Big Rivers Conference girls soccer matchup between the visiting Cardinals from Chippewa Falls High School and your host, Hudson Raiders. This is uh, Chuck Bublitz with you. Uh, it's with, with me, as always, is my uh, trusty expert and... Uh, all around good guy, Brian Mose. Brian, how are you? Good, pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's uh, it's a real pleasure to be here and it's a real pleasure to have all of you out there in uh, live broadcast YouTube land joining us, wherever you might be, be it uh, chilly Wisconsin or sunny warm Texas. So uh, hope you uh, enjoy the show and uh, I think we're looking forward to a good show. Yeah, it should be. Hudson came out with uh, some firepower to start off the regular season. Uh, was that last week on yep. this day? Yeah, big win against Rich Say Rice Lake, but and, uh, one of us knows what's going on. They beat the Tigers pretty uh, thoroughly, so I'm, I'm sure they're looking to do the same thing with this very talented and uh, very experienced girl soccer team that they have yep. this year. Yep, yeah, and then on the other side of the field is a, is a I can't comment on the talent level, I haven't seen a play, mm -hmm. but yeah. experience is not what I described with a team that's starting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven juniors, or uh, sophomores and freshmen. Yeah, lots of underclassmen on this Chippewa Falls girls soccer team, and it'll be interesting to see um, if they can step up to a challenge of Hudson potentially being the best girls soccer team in the Big Rivers Conference. It'll be interesting to watch them play and it'll be a first glance at a division rival. Yep, yep, so a uh, big conference game coming up tonight. The uh, the sun's shining, it's, uh, it's breezy, but uh, up here in the booth, it's toasty warm and we are ready to go. <laughs> Starters for both teams. Chippewa Falls is starting Ella Osman, number one in midfield with hate. Hattie, excuse me, Rapinski. They've got a uh, freshman forward, Haley Mason, up top. They've got a senior midfielder, Caitlin Simmons, number six. Number eight is Hannah Golden. In the central defense is Courtney Raymond, number 12, a junior. Another midfielder, number 13, Gabrielle Schweitzer. She's in mid. Uh, center defender, freshman, number 16, Kinsey Gerlock. They've got uh, forward, number 20, sophomore, Jacqueline Oldroy. Old Roy, excuse me. They've got a junior defender, number 21, Katarina Gardo. And in goal, Bailey Crawford, a senior. The Raiders are rolling out Wistie in defense with uh, Anderson. They've got Madison Danielson and Annika Lewis in the uh, center of the parks. T. Winkle. They've got Young and they've got Cam Messini. And then up top, Duffy, Spencer, and Collinson. It was, uh, as you said, Brian, a, a potent attacking yeah. bunch last Tuesday. Yeah, they used speed and uh, expertise. They finesse their shots on net and uh, a few times off posts instead of the back back of the goal, but they did a very fantastic job of, uh, on the offensive end and on the defensive end, keeping it in New Richmond's half of the field. And we are underway. Looks like uh, the Raiders got a little boost there. Might be a northern wind blowing in from Canada. They're helping the ball along. <laughs> and uh, early touch for <laughs> Bailey Crawford there. Bit. What's that? Blew your sheet a little bit yeah. over. Whew. <laughs> so Raiders in possession early here. Danielson carrying into space for Duffy to run onto. Turning on the uh, mm. Stella Duffy Jets cross right to the goalkeeper. Again, a couple early touches for Crawford. What do you expect to see here from the uh, Raiders week week two now? Um, I'm probably expecting to see them uh, use more crosses rather than they did last week where it was more through the middle of the field like we're seeing right now. They might utilize the uh, different flanks of the field and uh, use uh, crosses to set up good balls for their shooters. All right, with the, uh, with the three forwards looking to exploit uh, Duffy's pace, Collinson's pace in the flanks. Yeah. Messini looking to slip it through to Spencer there. Deflect it out. Raiders still in possession. Team one kind of just holding down the fort as she does. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if Chippewa Falls is a team that's young because they have the young talent or if it's a team that's young because not many. That's, that's what yeah. they've got. <laughs> not many other options. Yep. Kind of goes one of two ways usually here. Mm -hmm. Early returns, Hudson looking comfortable at the start. But uh, we're just here in the second minute, so a lot of game yet to be had. Anderson on the ball. Over to Wistie. 
Wish he's in for Marley Johnston, who took a nasty knock this weekend playing in the greater Madison area. Cindy Spencer looks like she oh. can turn on the just. She's going to be through. Takes one touch, second touch a little long, carries it a little farther than she wants. She carries across mm. it in near post. Shot on goal, which she'll uh, take. She had, uh, looks like Collinson running with her. Great early chance there for the Raiders. But uh, Crawford was in the right spot and, you know, difficult save. It was kicked, well, I shouldn't say difficult, but, you know, it was kicked at her, but it was kicked at her mm -hmm. with pace, and she held on to it with Collinson closing there looking for any sort of rebound. So it's a good job by the uh, goalkeeper just being in the right spot and making the save look easy. Yeah, and we're only, you know, just heading towards the uh, third minute of play, and uh, we've already seen a quality scoring right chance Collinson. for Hudson. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, my, my early inclination here is that Hudson's got a pace that I'm not sure Chip Falls is going to match. Mm -hmm. Literally lovely cut there from uh, T. Winkle. Around one, around a second, takes a shot. Mm. Ooh, just outside the post. Really nice individual effort there by T. Winkle and uh, just narrowly missed tucking it inside the post there for the 1-0 lead. Yeah, uh, it's been, a, been an offensive cl clinic so far for Hudson in uh, the uh, 180 seconds that we've played so far. <laughs> That's good math. Yeah. I had to think about it, though, for a second <laughs> just to try and make up something 60, clever. 60, 120, 180. Okay, good. Go. That's that's about how I have to work at you. Yeah. You didn't have to use your fingers, though, so you got that one up on me. Yeah. Throw in here for the Raiders. Wow, Stella just getting past her defender like she did last Camasini week. Camasini on the ball, able to keep it in, but uh, picked up there by the Chip Falls defender. Duffy pressuring, deflects out off of, looks like there's a little bit of confusion. Nope, nope. Off the Raiders, think that's the right call. Not that my opinion matters. <laughs> that was uh, Osman on the ball for Chip Falls. Ooh, falls to Collinson. Nice ball to Camasini. Camasini turns, looking for a right foot. Three players all around. It goes down, but uh, looks like that was... Got the ball first. Really nice mm. shot there by Young, pouncing on the loose ball. Yeah. And again, Hudson finding themselves quite capable of kicking the ball straight to the goalie. So, <laughs> Bailey Crawford, I'm going to credit that to the uh, goal goal goalkeeper being in good position. Yeah, and uh, just like last week with New Richmond, even though she gave up plenty of goals, uh, Crawford is showing uh, good positioning so far, like that goalie that we saw for the Tigers last week. Yeah, she, she played a good game. Mm -hmm. Just rough. Uh, defense play for her right in front of her. Yeah, they were they were just outclassed. Yeah. So here we go. Along on the ball, it's been it's been five minutes of Hudson pressure here. They have yet to break through, but uh, feels like that's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Cleared out and looks like last off of Camasini. It's going to be a goal kick. Yeah, and the few times that uh, Chippewa Falls has tried to retain the ball on their defensive side there has usually been two Hudson forwards and Navy jerseys have been swarming the ball so far making it really hard for Cardinal defenders to keep it in their possession yeah I actually heard that Jurgen Klopp got his uh, gig impressive uh, <laughs> tactics from yeah. Steve Solon that's, yeah. that's actually I think a Steve Solon patent <laughs> teach as well of course you know Jurgen Klopp famous for his Dortmund success and current Liverpool coach here comes Madison Dennis in the ball Carrying, carrying, maybe losing. Nope, T. Winkle right there. Providing support. Wisty now, out wide to Lewis. Nice, nice job here in Hudson, patient in possession, moving the ball side to side, trying to stretch Chippewa Falls out. Danielson now cuts inside, attacking the space, out for Duffy. Lovely weight on that pass. Duffy with a better cross here. Falls there to... Uh, Falls to Spencer. Spencer kicks it right off the defender. Again, that was a really nice cross by Duffy, and here comes, nope. I was going to say, here comes a counterattacking opportunity, and maybe I wasn't wrong. Mm -hmm. Osman poked away by T. Winkle. Danielson to Duffy. Settles, turns, cuts oh, inside nice. the defender. Really nicely done there by Stella. Now attack. Attack the near post. She had a runner. Takes the deflection, falls to Spencer, drops it off to Young. Young lines it up, kicks it over off, off the, the crossbar, post. though. It's a crossbar. Of Maybe the football uh, upright. <laughs> what's the uh, what's the Bears coach? Maybe he can sign her up. Oh, Cody Parkey. Uh, no, so no, no, that, that was the kicker, and then Matt Nagy is Nagy. The coach. That's right, yeah, Matt Nag Nagy. Nagy'd probably really like it if Ella Young started talking <laughs> about that shot on late night TV. Oh, rough one for Chicago. Yeah, didn't feel real bad for him. No, nah. go the Lakes. E Eagles got uh, bounced in the next round anyway, so it didn't really matter. I like that pun there. They got bounced. That was good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. You're on your A game. 
Would that be an appropriate time to say weird flex, but okay? No. Okay. Well, we'll work on that. That's kind of, oh, that's a oh, wow. lovely ball there. Just can't quite bend it into the run of Collinson, but the idea was there. Recognize the space behind those defenders. Played it mm -hmm. in. Hudson, you know, I, th I think your prognosticating here is looking accurate. A lot of really, really nice balls coming in, played mm -hmm. in from the flank, and... Uh, they're starting to find their marks, or getting closer to finding them. Mm -hmm. And it's a simple philosophy that's used in pretty much all sports, anyone, any sort of sport that you can think of, but spreading your offensive attack out, giving your players five feet of space to right. create. There's a lovely wow. job. And oh, there's a lovely goal. <laughs> My goodness gracious, is that uh, City Spencer there with the goal? What a rocket of a shot here in the uh, eighth minute of play. Sydney Spencer starting off the scoring for the Raiders. Goal for the Raiders, scored in the eighth minute of play by number 14, Sydney Spencer. Woo! Spencer for the Raiders, Hudson one, Chippewa Falls zero. Well, there you go. That's the kind of finishing, you know, Spencer, I feel like had a number of opportunities last week and yeah. she just couldn't fight quite connect. Well, to be fair, a lot of Hudson Raider <laughs> girls soccer players had uh, plenty of opportunities against New Richmond, but Real talk. you're right, Spencer Real talk. Uh, used her left boot there to just stick the stick the ball in the back of the or not the net that's a hockey term the no, goal yeah. Oh, yeah the back of the net that works and uh it it was a very good offensive play for the raiders and a good Duffy way to start overlap by uh now big switch and there's room over there when they do that yeah. switch collinson defender loses side of the ball for a minute collinson crosses it that's going to go out mm. for a throw in off of the off the flag well signaled there by uh, dean gums in the middle of the field So we've got Lewis there, deep, finds Massini, gets a touch on one defender, wins a corner kick. So here we go in the uh, ninth minute of play. Hudson leading one nothing, and they've got a corner kick. I, at this point in time, I'm not sure that Chippewa Falls had the ball in the Hudson's half. No, uh, I, they might have for a couple seconds off of a little counterattack opportunity, but you know Hudson's defense has done a great job of possessing the ball when it gets close to that point and yep. uh, passing around the back. Yep. Madison Danielson standing over it, left arm up in the air. Drives the ball into the six. High ball. Ooh, just sneaks past everyone. Ani Lewis chases it down, cuts it back, looking for Camasini. Takes a deflection. That should be a, uh, another corner kick here. Yep. Correctly called. Took a deflection. Signals the uh, center ref there. Again, some real first-class center refing going on so far tonight. Love to see that. Yeah, and uh, Cam Massini, who had a very great game against New Richmond, she had two goals, yep. I believe. Yeah, yeah. went out uh, went out with a little bit of a calf strain. Yeah, and it was probably good for her to get some rest anyway, yeah. and it's starting to carry over in this game. That's early in the year. She should be fit. Another, another lovely yep. ball. That's got to be a goal. And uh, it's, a, it's a knee goal for yep. Liz Collinson here in the 10th uh, minute of play. Goal for the Raiders. Scored on the... Play by number 17, Liz Collinson. Assisting on the play, number 23, Madison Danielson. Oh. Scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't a goal. Looks like no they, goal. It'll I, be I missed, taken back. I missed the. Uh, I missed the call. I wonder if we had a. Is it offside? I don't know. I didn't. I missed it. I wonder if he called. If it was a handball, maybe. Didn't look like it was offside to me. Either way, it wasn't a goal. Mm. The PA screw guy screwed it up. <laughs> Someone should fire him. <laughs> well, now this is Chippewa Falls' uh, pl er, opportunity, and now it goes away. But that was a good chance at them maybe gaining some momentum. But uh, Hudson continuing the press on the offensive end. Wow. Hudson doing a great job so far on yeah. the attacking end. They just, oof. Yeah. They're just dominating everything. Mm -hmm. Players uh, like uh, Mussini and uh, or Mussini, sorry. And, That's okay. Uh, <laughs> and it's uh, not like you called a goal that didn't exist. Yeah, no. Okay, <laughs> Daniel, sitting here. This is gonna be the one. I can feel it. All right. Really drives the ball nice. well to the far post. Oh. Right at this time, and that one is That's gonna it. go in. Yeah. And uh, not sure who got it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it to uh, we're gonna give it to Ella Young. It looked like she was standing right there. Goal for the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> Scored by number twelve, Ella Young. <laughs> Assisted by Madison Danielson. Hudson two, Chippewa Falls zero. 
<laughs> so it's uh, I think we can definitively say it's two nothing. Uh, came off the goalie's hands. Really should have had that one. But uh, to Hudson's credit, they were uh, they were pressing, they were pressuring, they were there. Yeah. And when she made the mistake, they were ready to take advantage, which is what you got to do. So you give credit to them for doing so. And uh, we're in the eleventh minute, Brian. You're the you're the you're the expert here. You're the sports. You support <laughs> the sports. <laughs> We're the eleventh minute of ninety, so I understand this is early. Yeah, is the route on? Um, I don't. I don't know if I would go. You know that out there right now, but there is a reason to be concerned if you're a Chippewa Fall fan, player, coach, anything like that, because they have not possessed the ball for you know even for like a minute or half a minute in Hudson's territory, and you can see right here just being displayed on the field just you know around the back passing spreading it out to flanks and they're using their spread type of offense to just really you know tire out these uh, cardinals and we're in towards the 12th oh, that, play. that was a chippy little knock there by uh, rapinski so if another goal is scored here pretty soon then yeah the route is probably on danielson here looking for far post service Ooh. just a little bit too far for collinson I feel like Collins is going to get old. I, I, she, she owes me. I owe her one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it. <laughs> I yeah. think so. But, yeah, she uh, she was close to getting a goal there, uh, making it 2-0 originally, and it could be 3-0, but refs decided to take it back. So Hudson has had quality scoring chance after quality scoring chance so far this match, and uh, it's been very nice to see them on yeah. offense so far. Yeah, they're just – they are in absolute control – uh, you know, just the one-on-one -on -one defending by Chippewa Falls. They're stabbing in. They're getting mm -hmm. beat. Um, they're not covering. It's, yeah. Collinson centering the ball. One by Hannah Golden here. And let's see. Nope. Chip again just gives the ball right away. Yep. T. Winkle. Oh. To Mass Massini picks it up quickly out to, uh, that's Young. Lines it up. Wow. Shoots. Nice save there by uh, Crawford. Little break for <laughs> little break for Chippewa Falls defense here. Yeah, Crawford doing a good job at being at the right place at the right time. You know, talking yeah. about positioning a lot. She's done a pretty solid job at that tonight so far. Back in for Massini here. Massini crossing it, looking mm -hmm. for uh, Duffy. Defender shielding it out. It's a goal kick for the Cardinals. So still no no substitutions from either side. No, neither team looks really super fatigued right now. But uh, I don't know, maybe we'll see a couple uh, Tiger substitutions tonight, just like last week. <laughs> For those of you just joining us, the Tiger substitution was the new Richmond strategy of subbing six players. What, what did we decide is, it, is the threshold for? Here comes Sydney Spencer carrying it through near post cross. It was either three or four. It was like a hockey line yeah, change. Basically. It was literally like every time they substituted, it was a line <laughs> change. So it was, it was the Tiger substitution, as we like to call it here in the business. <laughs> Business of doing Hudson Girls soccer. Right? It's good business. And uh, looks like we got a foul there called on uh, is that Ellie Young. Pretty good educated guess. Well, I am educated. <laughs> Free kick here. Looks like that's going to be, uh, I believe, Haley Mason taking it for the Cardinals. And oh, here comes that. No, that was oh, not wow. Haley Mason. This is Haley Mason, number five. She's got a one on three opportunity. Pushed outside by Ashley Anderson. Nice job. Cuts it back. Ooh. Looking for a trailer. Ella Young's there. Clears it out and falls to Collinson to Messini. Messini now carrying into space. Looking to play it through for Duffy. Nice job defensively there by the uh, left back, number 21. Katarina Gardo gives it back to T. Winkle, though, and Hudson back in possession. T. Winkle with her head up. Looking, looking, looking out to Danielson on the flank. Danielson wow. looking for the early cross up at the top for Spencer. Takes one bounce. Crawford oh, eventually comes yep. out and it squeaks through and it's going to be a goal. There's Liz Collinson with the goal in the 15th minute of play. Goal for the Raiders. Hold on, hold on. Oh. No goal for the Raiders. Now we got to hold on again. Offsides. Everyone's offsides. I'm not sure how that was offsides though. Um, I, maybe it was the far offensive player, like on the. I, I'm, I'm not uh, sure how that was offsides. I, I, I don't know because when the ball was played. Solemn obviously is, or maybe he's just instructing his players. But I'd like to see that on replay because it looked like the only person that touched it after Danielson was the <laughs> goalie that it squeaked through. And when Danielson played it, no one was offsides. Of course, Adam chuckles because he knows we don't have that type of technology. We're uh, 
not going to be the uh, NCAA tournament. <laughs> bad cheese is bad cheese. So, uh, Mr. Chuckle, the enlightened one down there near it's the front. It's that row. nacho cheese gets yeah. to you. So uh, Hudson could be up 4-0 right now, uh, but just some unlucky calls going their way. And uh, kind of a saving grace for the white and red so far as they haven't had much going for them at all. Nope. <laughs> Duffy shielding it out, throwing for the Raiders. Daniel's going to take it. Duffy back to Danielson. Danielson with the service. Nice ball. Finds the head of uh, Messini. Unable to direct it on goal. Couldn't get a lot of power onto it. Yeah, just a little tip off the temple. Couldn't quite uh, fit in the back of the goal. Uh, the old temple tip. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's been a good one for Hudson so far. And uh, plenty of or scoring chances coming. Uh, a plenty for the uh, Navy and White. Can another one arise oh. Duffy looking for uh, Collinson. Collinson can't win it back, but uh, Camasini does. Drops it back to Wistie. Takes a touch, settles. Looking up for Duffy. Ooh, just sneaks by her. It's going to go out for a Cardinal goal kick. Liz really wants that goal back that uh, she that didn't get. That I keep get. trying to give her. I'm trying hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm on her side. And, uh, you know, no one else believed in her. I did. Yeah. I do. Looks like Chuckle's coming into the game here. First substitution. We got a, we got a landmark at the 17th minute. Yep. Camasini deflected away by the defender. One back by Young. Duffy to Massini. Looking back mm. for Duffy. Played nicely into space there. Duffy's going to be able to keep it in. Nope. Goal kick. Into the game. Lauren Chuckle. Now into the game for the Raiders, number 21, Lauren Chuckle. And uh, even though she didn't really uh, put any goals or many stats into the uh, into the stat sheet last game against New Richmond, she did a really good job on the offensive front when she got subbed in later in the game. So it'll be interesting to see the sophomore out there. Did she score a goal? Did I she? Chuckle got the. I think a Chuckle got one of the goals. Yeah. Oh, because I, did, I mean, a lot of people scored. I guess I didn't remember. <laughs> Either way, she did a good job. All right, another corner kick as we go. Danielson, left hand, extended. Approaches the ball. Another Far post service, one. right into the six. There's going to be a foul called there on uh, Cam Messini. Looks like she was cheating again. <laughs> <laughs> Messini is playing really aggressive in the offensive end. Punished getting there for her aggressions by uh, yeah. center referee Dean Gums. Just getting all up in the goalie's grill. Can, uh, can't well, really I escape think it's, her. I think it's really her imposing stature that... that yeah. Oh, oh, ball loose. Picked up again by Crawford. Good recovery there from the goalkeeper. You know, the, the Raiders seem to be doing a better job of putting the ball kind of on frame than they were last Tuesday, but the, mm -hmm. the finishing still leaves a little bit to be desired. You know, just kind of not kicking it right at the goalie. Yeah, the accuracy has definitely been there, but the finishing needs to be more polished as the season goes on. Yeah, you kind of hope Just kind of early season happens. kinks. And uh, we got Quinn Williams checking into the game for the Raiders as well. Now into the game for the Raiders, number 22, Quinn o Williams. So Williams in, Spencer out, and uh, oh, nice touch! Williams there. right away on the ball, crossing it in, touched back there by uh, Collinson. Nobody following up. Settled by T. Winkle, takes it around one, looks to get the shot off, Just rolls out to Daniels, and she's going to let it go out for a throw in. And Chippewa Falls looks like they're going to make. Oh, not yet. Mm -hmm. Hudson throwing, so Chip Falls will make their substitution in a second. Camasini fighting through two defenders on the ball, looking across at it to center the ball. Falls to Danielson. Danielson wow. off the defender. Corner kick. Raiders. Number 11 here is going to check in Cameron Lahr for the Cardinals. That's one of the few juniors the that's on the team. Looks like Danielson's not going to take this one. Looks like Chuckle is. So Lauren Chuckle standing over the ball. Left-footed service bending in towards the goal. 
Again, putting it right in the six. Mm. Uh, it's, I really like the Raiders' strategy there. Crawford has not shown the ability to hold on to the ball. So yeah. keep putting it right in the mix there. And uh, 11 now checking in for the Cardinals. Cameron Lahr. Yeah, they're using now the far the post the to kind of poke at a weakness Cameron that uh, Chippewa Falls has. Yep. Lahr in for number eight. Had a gold hit. Were you hoping it was an actual two-hour late start, considering how tired you are yeah, today? apparently. <laughs> that teaching's tough work, Mr. Mose. That teaching's oh, tough work. I, I'm completely aware. My mom used to be a preschool teacher. You know, it's just like I get uh, – everything goes great for me, and then I get to my fifth hour, and it's just such a headache that oh, uh, I got nothing wow. left. I got nothing left. All right. <laughs> See how it is? <laughs> it's amazing how one, one class can just take it all out of you. I know. So here we go, Crawford on the ball. Um, I think we need to, we, you know, some games you track possession or you track, you know, completed passes. And I think with this game, our mistake was not from the start tracking amount of time the ball spent in Chippewa Falls. Mm -hmm. And there's, oh. oh, Duffy sneaking in, getting, a, getting in in front of her defender, beating her to the ball and just can't redirect it onto the goal. Great chance for the Raiders. I feel like I've said that a lot tonight. Yeah, it is. Uh, it has come in bunches for them, and uh, I'm pretty sure I've said that before. But the statement rings true so far uh, throughout the first half, and we're not really even close to being done with it right now. Kind of halfway through the first half. Right. If if uh, this opening. Oh. Oh. Collision, and. That was Duffy. Foul on uh, foul on looks like number 17, Alexa Cromry. Nope. That. Messini and uh, Danielson standing over it. That's not even sort of 10 yards. <laughs> but uh, Danielson's going to... Nope. There's Chuckle. Really nice job by Chuckle. Great ball oh. by Chuckle. Oh, oh Quinn Crawford. Williams was just not there. Oh. Like that ball. I think she bends out. She could score from there. Oh, yeah. And uh, this Hudson team is very talented on offense. So pretty much any one of their forwards can score when they're you know, in a near post or far post situation. It's just a matter of, you know, getting it to be at the right place at the right time. And Hudson's been really close a lot tonight. Yep. Yeah, I think it's just that expert uh, Steve Solom coaching, really preparing the girls to uh, be their best on game day. Yeah. You know, as, as Wade Williams once extolled. Mm. Quote time. Maximum effort. Yeah. <laughs> Another corner kick for the Raiders. Leading 2 nothing here in the 23rd minute. Madison Daniels over to take it. Looks like Ella Young's getting ready to come back in as is Sydney Spencer. So Steve, Coach Solom giving them some additional instruction, helping them understand tactically how they want to play, and then getting them back out there to execute. Danielson with the ball, plays it towards the penalty spot. Tracking over it was Collinson. Falls finally to Collinson. She heads it down, picked up by Crawford. Nice distribution oh, wow. there with the throw. Just a little bit behind her teammate. Messini wins it. Lots of space for T-Winkle. She tacks the space, carries to the defender, shooting wow. far post. Oh! I uh, thought that was a little bit more to the post side and was going to get past, but uh, Crawford able to, able to make the athletic save. Yeah, and uh, that play also kind of symbolizes how Carly T-Winkle has been playing all game so far. She's been able to just kind of duck and weave through Chippewa Falls mid defenders and just created scoring chances for herself and for her team. Yep. Off the f foul there. Free kick given right back to the Raiders. Nice, quick, oh, wow. efficient play. Ooh, that's a fortunate mm. deflection there by the defender because otherwise Stella Duffy was going to be in. And now turning on the old Duffy Jets to keep that one in play, trying to cut it around the defender. Good job there by number 18, Lily Spooner, to deflect it out. And we're going to have Ellie Young and Sydney Spencer check back into the game for the Raiders. Back into the game for the Raiders, number 12, Ella Young, and number 14, Sydney Spencer. And you mentioned uh, the Duffy Jets. Stella Duffy has done a really good job at beating her defenders, mainly the left backs on either the Tigers or the Cardinals so far in this game. Yep. Ooh, good Ooh. cross right off Crawford's chest. Took, take a shot, take a deflection. Williams just pursuing through three, four defenders. <laughs> Can they stop her? Let's go Raiders. Lauren Chuckle takes one touch, takes two, shoot Lauren. 
Good oh. shot. Oh, with just the right kind of bend. I thought it was going to be there. And the horn's going off. Pandemonium. Dogs and cats living together. I don't know what's <laughs> happening up here. We're calling phantom goals. We're blowing the horn at random times. It's been a mess so far. It's been a mess. You know what it is? It's that snowmageddon coming. The, I think yeah. it's the equilibrium of the air pressure is off. <laughs> I can feel it in my inner ear. Yeah. My chakra is all messed up. Yeah, kids are wearing shorts and hoodies out here. Right? Hey, it's hard being cool. It is. And sandals, too, yep. as uh, Adam points out. There were kids doing that. Uh, they were wearing just full-on burks and socks and shorts at school today. I mean, to be fair, it's 75 degrees inside, right. but still. Wishful thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Check back from Duffy fighting hard. Good physical battle there between her and uh, that's Asman. Osman, excuse me. Osman substitution. Nope, no substitution. No, it's just going to switch to a Chippewa throwing, I guess. Oh, there you go. Osman on the ball, pressured by two Raider defenders. Duffy pokes it away. Cardinals get in the way of each other. Duffy <laughs> fighting hard. Like to see the effort there. Mm -hmm. Raider throwing. Duffy picks it up right away, looking for the quick restart. Nothing there initially. Lauren Chuckle makes a little run into that space. Ball runs away from her, comes back to her, onto her left wow. foot. Really nice cross there, settled. Struck. Mm -hmm. Caught. <laughs> And it'll be a uh, fly out there from the uh, from the penalty spot. Kind of just looked like uh, a baseball hit. Yep, no Texas leaguers here. No, nope. oh. just nice clean saves by Crawford. T. Winkle head up, looking to play plays Ooh. into the space. Duffy was checking too. Can she get there? Stella turns on Jets. She was very close. <laughs> It's my little uh, little do up Elton John. Oh yeah, homage. Nice. That's a pretty well, good. Well, I don't know that anyone homage. would think would say describe me singing as nice, Ryan. But you know. Well, I mean, I'm saying it's a nice artist to homage to. Oh, fair enough. Know, fair enough. Elton. I mean, I think I'm a great singer, and that turns out that's all that really matters. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of instructions coming from the Raider bench. Uh, it's you know. A game where, with the, given the level of domination that's taken place, one would, if I'm a, if I'm Coach Solom, if I'm, I'm a, I would be looking for more than a two to zero lead at this point in time. I know because it it honestly shouldn't be two to nothing. It should be more like four to nothing. But some unlucky calls um, have gone Hudson's way, and uh, you know it's kind of funny to complain when your team is in the lead, but right. there have been there have been some unlucky calls that have gone their way. And uh, so they'll probably look to make it a 3-0, 4-0 deficit before the half is said and done. Duffy takes across, deflected, caught by Crawford in traffic. <laughs> Duffy on the ball, drops it off to Danielson. Danielson with the early Ooh. cross. Oh, I think she hooked a little more than she intended to right off the face of Chrome. Uh, excuse me, Cromery, but she's right back up at it. Pulled nice. away by Danielson, carrying into space. Defender step. She runs right by her. Hudson just looks. I mean, they're just more athletic. They're more talented. It's 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 a tall mountain to climb. Mm -hmm. Little bump there on Crawford by Spencer. Crawford holds onto it. Cold ball off the face can't feel good. No, huh? But was cold ball off cold face? Is that like two negatives make a positive? Does that feel good then? No, I played elementary school soccer, and I know how that feels <laughs> during the winter time when uh, they'd restrict football from us because we'd tackle instead of two hand touch. Right, but if you're gonna tackle, it should be in the snow. Like you shouldn't play. You should play winters. I know the Holton Elementary School kept us from uh, <laughs> from playing oh, fun football. God, <laughs> the, the oppression that you've suffered, Ryan, in life is truly <laughs> horrific. I mean, we were Plays it back. Crawford's down. Great opportunity oh. for the Raiders. Can they get a shot on goal? Turn. Williams turns. Deflects. Back to Williams. Out to Duffy here. Duffy keeps it in play. One defender coming on. Touches it around her. Crosses it. Williams just misses the ball. Still can't get it out of the box. Up in the air. Falling to Chuckle. Chuckle heads it down. Settles it. Looking for Williams again. Williams on the ball. Now... Oh. Dropped back. That's wow. going to be Rapinski. Oh, geez. Tries to clear it. One, or it's at least challenged by Lewis. Now it's all the way back to Ashley Anderson. Anderson over Danielson. Hudson just continuing to pour on the pressure. Chippewa Falls wins the ball back now. 
but gives it right away to Annika Lewis playing to the feet of, is that Williams? Yep, Williams playing center forward, tries to cut it back inside her defender, unable to do so. One completed pass for the uh, Cardinals, and that's all they're getting tonight. Madison Danielson steps up. Again, service into the box. Falls to Williams, just can't connect with it. Ugh. Sydney Spencer chases it down in front of the defender. Looks to drop it back to... Oh. oh. <laughs> unable to connect. Williams now looking to turn, looking to shoot. Chuckle slides it across. Shot by uh, Lewis, was that maybe? No. Oh, it's Young. Close chance and after close the chance. Game. Cam Messini back in. Back into the game for the Raiders. Number 20, Cam Messini. So Messini back in for Williams. Williams had her foot on the ball a lot in the box there. Just couldn't get a, get a shot on frame. Yeah, Hudson has had a lot of those for plenty of players who have been on ball the whole game. Yeah, this is... Uh, Not the production one would uh, desire no. from this level of domination. No, it's just been a kind of a barrage in possession, passing accuracy, shots, shots on goal, you know, quality scoring chances. It's just been Hudson, Hudson, Hudson all across the board. Yeah, and uh, it's only two nil, which is uh, quite surprising. Thirty yeah. third minute of play here, so we've got about fifteen. Well, excuse me, about thirteen minutes left as Collinson's checking back in here for Hudson to add to the lead or for Chippewa Falls to get back into it. Into the game for the Raiders, number 17, Liz Collinson. And that's certainly a fear I would have if I'm Coach Solom is to, you know, mm -hmm. two zeros, the most dangerous lead in soccer. One goal really just changes the momentum. And the last thing you want in a game that you're just dominating on the field is to have the opposing team who who you've really just controlled for, mm -hmm. you know, over half an hour. You'd hate for them to get that one goal and be right back in it. Danielson just going and going, wow. looking to cut, can't get around the final defender, but it falls to Collinson, who was out there in a supporting position. Her cross goes nowhere, chasing it down, and winning it is Cam Messini. Pokes away from one, pokes away from two. In for Chuckle, Chuckle with the right foot, crosses it over, looking for Ella Young. Cleared out, throw in, Raiders. And you mentioned with the, uh, you know, the 2-0 lead, if the... Cardinals get a goal here if all the chips fall into place it could be you know pretty uh, detrimental to this team's psyche even though they've dominated the whole game so far but uh, for Hudson's sake it's only a hypothetical and most likely not going to happen into the game for Chippewa Falls number eight Hannah Golden you know Brian I couldn't agree with you anymore and I especially appreciate your uh, all the chips fall where they may pawn mm -hmm. you are uh, <laughs> you're on point today yeah. I gotta say you certainly had your Wheaties this morning yeah Always. TM. <laughs> Chippewa Falls maybe with something? No. Messini through to Spencer. Spencer running onto it. One, two, three players running into the box. Crosses it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Far post cross just about went over the head. Chipped Crawford almost. But uh, as it stands, goal kick for the Cardinals. 34th minute of play. Far post uh, service denied once again yeah. for Hudson. They've been really going at it, as uh, you mentioned earlier, that Crawford has, you know, has a weakness of not being able to cover the far post as well as uh, other goalkeepers that Hudson will probably face this year have. And it's just been so close, but no cigar. Well, this is a school property, so yeah. no. Well, no, and there no we tobacco, go. So, so no tobacco yeah. products. That's the problem, Brian. I, you can't do that. It's illegal. <laughs> Goal for the Raiders, scored by number 14, Sydney Spencer. Assisting on the play, number 12, Ella Young. Spencer from Young, Raiders 3, Cardinals 0. So in the 35th minute of play, I think that's a little bit of music to Coach Solom's ears. Just put a little bit more distance. Yeah. Stick your foot in the ground and kind of separate yourself from a team that you've been just playing absolutely fantastic against. Yep. And that was that was just that was nicely done. That mm -hmm. laid the ball off nicely for Spencer, and Spencer just finished with authority. Great crowd here tonight. Yeah, parents, students, everyone's out in the cold, bundled up, and supporting the Raiders. And, and I'm sure we have plenty of fans supporting the Raiders back home. You know, staying nice and cozy and warm. Yep, and. Streaming with us live here via River Channel. If you're just joining us, this is a Chuck Bublitz, Bublitz with Brian Mose. We are uh, 
YouTube and Facebook. And YouTube and Facebook, wow. and uh, just on River Channel in general. We are uh, we're coming at you, and of course <laughs> we've got uh, we've got our ch chief man in charge who knows where we're broadcasting. Adam Tilson here. Yeah. He's uh, running the show from behind the Panasonic there, keeping keeping you informed and uh, updated with the beautiful HD shots as the uh, sun sets in the west, casting. Lovely shadows across the field. Corner kick. Lauren Chuckle lining it up. Bunch of players in the six-yard box. Chuckle puts it out. Crawford misses it, and there's a whistle for something. Uh, Free kick. Chippewa Falls. Yeah, and uh, Chuckle, when she's had opportunities, whether it be a corner kick or out in space, she's been able to get it to her teammates uh, with crosses, that kind of laser-like trajectory, you know, getting it right on with pin or maybe not pinpoint yeah. accuracy, but just getting it in the general area that it needs to be. And look, checking the game here is uh, number two, Adele Duffy. Are getting ready to. Here come the Raiders Ooh. again. Great shot. Unable to hold on to it again is Crawford. Really a lot of mustard on that one. I know. Nice. Scharfer Zemp, as the Germans would say. Here comes Collinson, past her defender, looking to cross. Good recovery there by number eight, forward of the Cardinals, Hannah Golden. And able to get a goal kick for her team. Into the game for the Raiders, number two, Adelaide Dufay. Speaking of uh, mustard and passes, have you heard about the Latrell Sprewell story? No, tell me about Latrell Sprewell. So uh, he was a he was a former really good basketball player. Oh, I'm, the, I'm uh, well aware of who Latrell Sprewell yeah, is, you know. but I want to hear the. Uh, uh, he got into an argument with a coach. Um, I can't remember. It's an Italian name, though, I believe. And, uh, it was Carlisle, or nah, um, no? Uh, I can see him. Yeah, but anyways, he uh, he told Latrell during practice to put more mustard on his passes, and he proceeded to wrap his hands around choke his him throat. Out, yeah. yeah, choke him. <laughs> it was. I can see him. I can see him in a beard. Yeah. Now it's gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna yeah. have to use the Google. Okay, another another corner kick here for the Raiders. 38th minute of play. Near post, curling in, off the post. That's out for a uh, goal kick. Flags up, but I like uh, I like Chuckle's thought there. Yeah. Just go straight for goal. Uh, it's goal. Oh, this is going to be Car PJ Carlissimo. Carlissimo, that's Carlissimo. right. Carlissimo. A PJ Carlissimo. <laughs> you got to do it with two hands like this. Yeah. Peter, just because you have a mustache doesn't mean you can speak Italian. I mean, it's you got to do the motions, though, right? with it. Right. Goal it's kick, one by uh, Adele Duffy. And look at the great driving run by Duffy there. Now recovering nicely into her defensive uh, outside defensive back or uh, defensive positioning. One again by Duffy. She's dominating that side of the field right now. Collinson, nice little one-two with Messini. Looking for Ooh. a cross. You might have mishit it, and it's off of Crawford, and that's going to be a corner kick for the Raiders. 39th minute of play here. And this is another corner kick for Hudson. Not a whole lot of production in the offensive end in general to match, you know, their aggressiveness and tenacity on the attacking end. So we'll see if they can make it 4-0. Really nice little ball by Chuckle there. Deflected mm. off, looks like Ani Lewis's thighs. Wistie keeps it in, falls to Chuckle. Chuckle, right foot, drops it back to Messini. Oh. Really nice job there. Just can't keep it down, Ken Cam Messini. Wonderful find mm -hmm. by Chuckle. Great job with Messini striking the ball there, looking to just get it to kind of dip down over the goalie. Unable to do so, though. Checking into the game for the Cardinals, number 10, Grace Christie. So Christie into the game for Chippewa Falls, number 10. Been a... Uh, whew. Yeah. It's been a tough night to be a Cardinal fan. Yeah, uh, Hudson has really just kept them completely out of their element and their attacking end. Hudson has really suffocated them, and uh, if they don't do something here, they might choke them out if uh, they really can't get anything going. Oh, I thought it was going to bounce over the fender, but uh, Messini wins it. Just can't touch it past that final central defender. Sidney Spencer works out, though, to uh, win it back. And there's a foul called there. Free kick for the Raiders. Went a little bit far out. Far out, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if they can hit far post on this one. 
Oh, wow. Right on frame. I like Jeez. the thought. I mean, just given the way that, that Crawford at times has struggled to hold on to the ball, I think just putting mm -hmm. it, that's that strategy. They've kind of identified that early, and they mm -hmm. are uh, attacking that point. And I think that's wisely done by the Raiders. Duffy on the ball, takes a touch. Back to Wistie. Wistie to T-Winkle. Splits defenders. Chuckle. And now here's Collinson. Collinson looking for maybe a one-two opportunity with Messini. Instead chooses to go the other way. Now Ella Young on the ball. Yeah, those their defenders aren't even pressuring the ball. There's times where they almost could have taken it away. Ani Lewis trying to slide it through to Cam Messini. Only cleared as far as Lauren Chuckle. Splits one, two defenders. Right-footed shot. Oh. Off the post. Floating in the six-yard box. Loose. Ricocheting around. Poked by Ella Young. And in by Ella yeah. Young. 41st minute. Fourth goal, Ellie Young, unassisted. Raiders are running away with it. Staying with goal it and keeping the, the pace on the offensive end has really helped Scored Hudson so 12, far. Ella Young. Young for the Raiders, Hudson four, Triple Fall zero. So almost another situation where, you know, Hudson tries to play to the post and it's just unlucky and gets denied again, but they finally cash out on it and mm -hmm. put it in the back of the goal. Yep. Good to see a 4-0 uh, lead to match the production. Right, I, f I feel like three, four minutes ago we were saying, Gee, gosh, you'd be terrible if mm -hmm. you dominate this much and Chippewa Falls makes 2-1. And, uh, you know, I think they hurt us. I think yeah. kudos to us <laughs> for really motivating the team. I think I think we're an indispensable part of what's happening here tonight. Is this your plea to become an assistant coach? Uh, no, that's... Uh, or is that I, behind I'm you? I'm not on that level. Oh, Cam <laughs> City stuck it through between the goalie and the post it looked like there. Duffy on the ball for the Raiders. Into the corner looking for mm. Collinson. Can't quite locate her. Goal kick for the Cardinals. So the, for the Cardinals now, desperation time to just get something in before half. Yeah, if you're if you're Chippewa Falls here, it's, man. And, and like at this point in time, just having the ball in Hudson's half would probably mm -hmm. feel good. Yeah, you know, just try and build off of something and... You know, this team has showed flashes of maybe doing that, but they haven't really been able to get past Hudson's uh, defenders. Working hard to try and keep that in was Collinson. Unable to do so. Goal kick again for the Cardinals. 42nd coming up in the 43rd minute of play. A couple minutes left here in the first half. Uh, what do you say, Mr. Mose? What are your takeaways? Uh, takeaways so far has, you know, the aggression has been, you know, just continuous uh, pressing on the gas pedal so far for Hudson. They haven't really let up at all. They've really stifled Chippewa Falls in pretty much every facet of the game. And, uh, you know, it, and I know that uh, it, it can be rough to watch sometimes, especially if you're a Chippewa Falls fan. But uh, it just seems like Hudson is uh, very, I don't want to say destined or anything like that, but they're primed to be a real contender in Wisconsin State soccer this year. But that's looking pretty far into the future for just one game. Right. <laughs> T-Uncle with the cross. Crawford with a catch. Duffy getting ready to check back in. Maybe this could be a good learning experience for a lot of the underclassmen on this Chippewa Falls soccer team, maybe. it's The game is the greatest teacher. Yeah, it's a really Ellie tough. Young, left-footed shot. Wide a goal. It can be tough to find uh, bright spots in a game like this, but hopefully chip on the future can maybe Back do something like that. Back into the game like for that. the Raiders. Number 18, Stella Duffy. She probably just got cold on the bench or something. <laughs> Had to wow. it it's cold up here and we're in. not sitting out in the wind to the degree that they are. No. Up, holding on to the ball there. Ashley Anderson getting the, the rare touch. Quick play there to Cam Messini, who's checking back to the ball. Duffy cuts it back for Messini. Messini gets around one, gets around two, lines it up, shoots right at Crawford. They got they got to be crashing that, the, the Raiders. Yeah. That just, to me, it, it, you need to recognize what's going on, the tendency of the goalkeeper to do that, and you got to crash. That's that's your giving away free goals. She's just asking someone to pick that up and just knock it into the net, and uh, they're at this point I'm not interested, and that's too bad. They need to get after that, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, second chance opportunities can be really valuable to Hudson right now if they really want to put this game away 
uh, and separate themselves even even farther from this well, triple false. It's not false even about this game. You know, it's about squad. just developing those kind of habits. Yeah, in general. That that you know you got to be crashing the net if you want to if you want to score goals if you want to win games you gotta you gotta be aggressive you gotta get after it you gotta want it and mm-hmm. so certainly to me that'd be a uh, something to talk about because this this goalkeeper is giving you opportunities and you just need to be there to take them throw in for the Raiders as we enter the last 10 of the first half. 10, 9, 8, 7, So the Raiders six, will close in on a 4-0 lead four, at half. Three, Complete dominance two, one, from the girls' zero. soccer team so far. Yep, there we go. Dominant first half for the Raiders. Uh, yep. For those of you joining us from the wide, wide world of uh, the world, we will uh, <laughs> be back with you here in the, for the second half in a little bit. All right, and welcome back here to Raider Field for the second half of our Bigger Rivers Conference showcase match for the evening, Hudson Raiders and Chippewa, Fall Car- Chippewa Falls Cardinals. And uh, I think fair to say after 45 minutes, the only thing that's getting showcased is the offensive firepower of the Hudson Raiders. Yeah, they've really done a fantastic job of you know, creating opportunities for themselves, not letting Chippewa Falls take any sort of you know, possession advantage at all with their tenacity on the front end. <laughs> yeah, forget possession advantage, yeah. just possession period. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, in general, Hudson has really dominated every single part of the game so far. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how both teams go about the second half. Um, you know, to see if Hudson will bring in some more subs and revert and <laughs> reverse reserves in excuse me <laughs> and uh and see uh, how chippewa falls goes about attacking this uh hudson defense that they haven't been able to get past for 45 minutes already right so here we go early touch for sydney spencer looks like hudson's got rolled out their uh starting lineup again so what do you think? Uh, what do you think, Coach Solom's talking points were at halftime? Probably just uh, continue the uh, the shot creation, but you know, finish the shot finishing. You know, um, not to be redundant or anything in the same sentence, but you know, just to you know try and put goals in the back of the net. Right. You know, they haven't been really able to do that so far this game. Well, here comes another opportunity. Corner kick, Danielson taking it. With the left foot of Lauren Chuckle out, Danielson resumes her full-time set-piece duty or corner kick duty. Lovely ball in, just over the head. Ellie Young falls. Ani Lewis takes one touch, takes two, drops it off Ooh. to T. Winkle, who gets a little more under it and a little less behind it, which means over the goal, verbal kick. Second time that's happened now for Hudson tonight, where it goes over the net instead of sneaking under the uh, the crossbar. And that happened uh, plenty of times uh, against New Richmond where they just, you know, s- struck it right off the top. Spencer to Lewis, Lewis to Messini. One touch, two touch, left foot, drives Ooh. it near post. Saved by Crawford. She's just uh, smooth on the ball, Camasini. Yeah. Hasn't scored yet, though. Yeah, uh, but she's done a really good job of excuse me, being in front of the net and uh, at least, you know, trying to make scoring chances for herself. And Free kick for Chippewa? Yep. I wonder what it was on. I didn't see it. I too missed it. Mm. Searching for options. Finds Camasini. T. Winkle to Lewis. Lewis to Collinson, talking to her. Urging her closer. Lewis to Massini, drops it off to T. Winkle. T. Winkle takes one touch, looking for the big switch towards wow. Duffy. Pass Duffy to Danielson. Lovely ball from T. Winkle. Danielson looking to attack the defense. Right idea, too big of a touch that uh, help defense, the help defender was there. The cover defender, rather, excuse me. And uh, cleared it out, thrown for the Raiders. Yeah, and T-Winkle put it right on the money for Danielson going up the uh, the right flank. It was just a really fantastic ball. And here comes Duffy. Can she carry along the end line? Flicks it back, looking to center it, deflected out by a Cardinal defender. Another corner kick. 
the Raiders. T1 Kalnau coming over, checking over, showing, drawing one defender out. Look, I think that was a little bit more just to draw some defenders and bodies yeah. out of the box. Covered e easily by Crawford there. She's looked a little bit more confident. Had a couple opportunities here in the start of the second half. Messini shot and then uh, that corner kick, and she's caught them both comfortably. Yeah. So Maybe, that's, uh, that, that could bode well mm -hmm. for Chippewa Falls because certainly, you know, they need to score some goals, but they also need to not give up anymore. And wow. oh, I thought they just yeah. did. Lovely piece of attacking play, but just unable to direct it back on goal. Love the cross, the, love the run, the aggressive run, and the low driven cross by Stella Duffy. Yeah, it was certainly the right idea for Hudson to try and attack right in front of the net and uh, try and catch Crawford off guard because she has been defending both posts all night so far. Right. And here comes Duffy again, immediately after the restart. Chippewa Falls just can't even clear it out. Slips all the way across oh. to Lewis. Lewis takes it first time. Off the post again. But the football goal post, mm -hmm. as the case may be. So again, at this point, <laughs> Chip Falls, she can't even get out of the 18-yard box right now. Yeah. Real struggle for the Cardinals. It's just, if you're, if you're Hudson, if you're Coach Solom, it's just time to end this. Just put the ball in the back of the net here and get this game over with. Young mm. takes a deflection off the chest uh. of the goalie. Duffy was closing there. Better. You know, again, like we talked about in the first half, I think mm -hmm. those opportunities are going to continue to be there. And so make sure you're, you're crashing hard because it's going to be great opportunities for you to uh, for you to score if you're a Raider forward. Yeah, and uh, when Hudson continues to be the aggressors on both sides of the ball, you know, those second chance opportunities are going to crop up every once in a while. Like you mentioned, that Hudson should be more adamant and more productive on that end where, you know, if Crawford has trouble handling the ball, there sh probably should be a Navy jersey there. Right. Oof, a little, little dicey here, an opportunity for Chippewa Falls to press. Hudson unable to get, well, now they will. We get a throw an opportunity, so a little bit of a heavy touch there from the Chippewa Falls defender. That's number five, Healy Mason, the senior. And now here come the Raiders on the attack. Stella Duffy, it's like they got a three on one here. They have to score. Duffy takes a shot right off of Crawford. Great save, out for a corner kick. She had two unmarked players making that center channel and far post run. Chose to take it herself. Yeah, and uh, Solemn down there telling Stella, you can hear him yell out to her, probably talking about her two runners that she had available to her. Uh, you know, good idea, but maybe not the best one. Danielson corner kick off the side netting. How long do you think it'll take uh, for Hudson to put this one away and make it 5-0? Well, I mean, at, at this point in time. Right well, yeah, no, I know. But it's away, but no. You, you mentioned to, yes. you know, just put it in the back of the goal. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It's, I mean, right, you look and at this point in time, Chippewa Falls is struggling just to, on goal kick restarts, they, they can't even connect the pass. They can't get it, you know, 15 mm -hmm. yards, 20 yards away from the goal. And so, uh really at any time. Hudson just needs to play clean and play smart and and, and execute. Well, this is good. I love this by nice. Liz picking up right away. Messini had right away recognized, made the run, cuts inside one defender, takes a slight poke from a second defender, and then off of Messini's foot into the hands of Crawford. This is about really Chippewa Falls' one chance to take a break. They can get up a little bit. Crawford can hold on to it. She can punt it a little farther. She can kick it on the goal kick. And... Wistie right back in the attack for Hudson. Aggressive run, finds Collinson, one, two. Wistie just carried in that space. Central defender, crosses it, finds the back post. Oh. Finds Duffy. Wow. Just looks almost like her foot got caught in the turf there. Another great chance for the Raiders yeah. and another missed opportunity. And it just continues the barrage of quality scoring chances that Hudson has had so far tonight. Absolutely. And uh, it hasn't stopped. And uh, it looks like it'll 
continue for most of the second half, especially with players like Duffy and Messini out there who have been goal scorers so far for Hudson. Lovely oh, nice. cross, finds Young. Young can't connect, falls to... Oh, oh, and what a great save! There you go. But deflected back centrally and knocked in there. I believe that was by Collinson. So the 5-0 is official in the 54th minute of play. Goal for the Raiders. Scored by number 17, Liz Collinson. Collinson for the Raiders. Hudson 5, Chippewa Falls 0. So 54th minute of play. Collinson makes it 5-0. Second chance opportunities, you know. Right there's when, that deflection. When when Crawford is left there out on the island by her defense, you know, not being able to, you know, pick up the slack with uh, extra uh, or bouncing chances, you know, Hudson should be there, and they were, and that yeah. leads to a f to their fifth goal of the, of the uh, night so far. Yeah, I think emphasis on so far there. <laughs> I've been saying it a lot tonight. <laughs> You know, they've just, it, it's its been easy to say so far because that's just how the game has been. Hudson has been dominating yep. the whole time. Yep. Kenzie Myers taking off her warm-up song on the sideline. wonder if we're going to see an appearance from the, uh, from the senior here. Talked with her uh, family during halftime. They were shivering. <laughs> it is, uh, it's cold. It's real cold out here, Brian. Yeah, it's starting City to. City Spencer. Turns, hooks it just a little bit. Got some power on the shot. And just just can't quite put it on frame here. Kenzie Myers checking into the game for the Raiders. Now into the game for the Raiders. Number 15, Kenzie Myers. And the Kenzie Myers fan club. Yep. Cheering loudly as uh, Collinson comes out. And it looks like, ooh, Chippewa Falls, good choice here. They've got a defender step in and take those goal kicks. He's got a little bit of a bigger leg. T. Winkle. Myers gets her first touch. Second touch is across oh, on the nice. floor. Finds wow. Spencer. Spencer <laughs> redirects it nicely on net. Just not enough pace to get past Crawford. Handles it comfortably. Punts it out. One bounce. One by the Raiders. Danielson. Ooh, just looking for a checking Spencer and unable to connect with her. Danielson again back on the ball. Turns, drops for, well, drops for Anderson. There we go. T Winkle with time, turns. Swings it over to Ani Lewis. Trying to send Kenzie Myers on the run. Wow. It's good. It's in. Kenzie Myers looking to chase. Looking to keep it in. Takes one poke just to see if she can get a touch off of the Chippewa Falls defender. She does not. Goal kick for the Cardinals. She's made a little impact so far. Uh when uh it was her first time stepping onto the pitch. She uh has done a good job for uh, Hudson. Yep. Looks like the uh, we might have the Tiger substitution coming here as I see the whole of the Hudson bench heading out to warm up. Monty Lewis fighting for the ball. Wistie. Mm. Ball slips just under her foot. Throwing for the Cardinals. Young wins the ball for the Raiders. Off to Lewis. And Hudson back in possession. Nice quick two-touch soccer here. Really lovely as they're working it through. Find Young in space. She's attacking. She's attacking. Head up. Cuts it past one defender. Second touch a little heavy, but it falls back to her. Messini picks it up. Splits the two defenders. Top of the 18. Drives the ball right into Crawford's gut. But that was a nice, nice pace of play. Controlled quick mm -hmm. and even when the ball was kind of set free and not as controlled uh, a Hudson player was able to pick up the slack as Messini was able to put a shot on net yep yeah or on goal excuse me <laughs> NHL playoff start tomorrow I'm really excited for that who are yeah. you uh, who are you favoring Mr. Mose? Uh the only bracket I filled out so far has Vegas beating Pittsburgh in the final so It'll be the uh, team that's only been in the league for two years against a original six team. So it should be interesting. Uh, Corner kick for the Raiders. No, goal kick, excuse me, rather. 
I'm assuming you don't pay attention to hockey that much, do you? I am. Uh, I am not what one would call a hockey fan. No. no. <laughs> I enjoy my. I enjoy my Raider hockey. I like high school hockey. Yeah. But uh, NHL has never, never been my preferred cup of tea. Ho- college hockey's fun. Yeah. Especially with a lot of Minnesota teams being uh, in contention for the Frozen Four. Yep. I think it was uh, three number one here seeds. Comes, here comes an opportunity for, maybe for Chippewa Falls. Mm. Well handled there by Ashley Anderson, making that look easy, comfortably taking the pressure, turning her. And I think that's just, for, for me, Chippewa Falls is just, they're, they're so aggressive. That should be onside. Like now she's offside, Sydney Spencer. Checks back on, Camasini turns. It's got time. Poked away by the defender. Wistie over to the, win the ball to Lewis. Lewis touches it inside, finds Massini. Yep, I was going to say carry centrally there. Looking for the return pass from Spencer. Wow. Nicely done. Cam Massini, left foot. Yep. Goal, Raiders. 6 nothing. 59th minute of play. Cam Massini working at lovely with Sidney Spencer for the sixth goal of the game. Goal for the Raiders. Scored by number 20, Cam Massini. Assisting on the play, Sidney Spencer. Massini from Spencer. Hudson, 6. Triple ball, 0. So the 6 nil mark from last week has been matched with mm-hmm. half an hour to play. Yeah, plenty of potential to extend it past that. And uh, Spencer and Massini doing a great job of uh, playing two versus uh, four or five, <laughs> pretty much the whole Chippewa Falls defense. Quick little one-touch passes to each other, and Massini does, a th- uh, does something that Hudson has had trouble doing, and that was finishing, yep, putting the ball in the back of the goal. Finished nicely with her left foot. Is that her first one of the game, or is it her second one? That's uh, that's Massini's first. Okay. Because she's, she's been very active in front of the goal and causing uh, problems for Crawford and the rest of uh, Chippewa Falls' defense, but uh, I didn't think she scored a goal yet. Oh. <laughs> third time? So here we go again. Duffy looking for Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a Hudson Raider soccer game if the mic isn't left on. Right. That usually happens pretty much every game. Real you know, talk. the fans get a little do up here. Right, we're just sharing the love. <laughs> Lewis there on the ball. Myers to Messini. Messini's through on goal. Can she capitalize? Cuts it back for Spencer. Spencer takes a touch right into Crawford. Oh, great flowing attacking soccer and catching practice for Crawford. But Hudson, you know, to their credit, they're just they're still hungry. Mm-hmm. It's a six nothing game. There's we're in the sixtieth minute here, and they're just they're hungry for more, and that's exactly what you want to see out of your team. Just when you're on the pitch, oh, wow. play as aggressively as you possibly can, as evidenced there by uh, Stella Duffy's aggressive play to win the ball and wins a corner kick for her team. We've got uh, Maddie Wolfgram and Quinn Williams coming in for the Raiders, and number nine, Marissa Bridges coming in for the Cardinals. Into the game for the Cardinals, number nine, Marissa Bridges. Entering the game for the Raiders, number nine, Maddie Wolfgram, and number 22, Quinn Williams. So some changes up top uh, and in the back. Looks like Ashley Anderson took a little bit of a knock or something. I'm not real sure. She maybe contacts out. She's not talking to the trainer. She's just uh, having one of her teammates look at something. So, and here we go with the corner kick for the Raiders. Danielson, driven ball into the six, over the head of Crawford, bouncing and in. And that looks like that's going to be an own goal. That came off the. Uh, yeah. That came off the chip of false defender. Absolutely. So 62nd minute here, and it's an own goal. Own goal scored by the Cardinals. Checking into the game for the Raiders, number 16, Morgan Brozak. <laughs> so in the 62nd minute here, we're now at 7 nothing. Own goal, just right over Crawford's head, that, that Big, powerful leg of Danielson was able to just drive the ball over the goalie to the far post, and there was just such a clump of bodies it bounced off the defender and into the net. So we're at 7-0 now. That's that's the high score for the Raiders this season. 
pretty impressive to have 13 goals in the span of two games. Right. And, uh, and then potential to expand on it more. Right. As we still have just under half an hour left. Yep. Duffy ready to come into the game again for the Raiders? Checking back into the game for the Raiders. Number two, Adele Duffy. So Duffy checks into the game, Adele Duffy. Madison Danielson dropping it off to T. Winkle. Nicely defended there by uh, number five for Chippewa Falls, Kaylee Mason, but not enough to, ooh, nice cut there by Duffy to Young. Some nice one-touch soccer. This I really like to see from Hudson, not mm -hmm. getting complacent in the style of play, really remaining true to who they are. Possession the ball playing quick but side to side this is a this is a good sign if I'm coach Solom that that in the midst of a blowout that we're maintaining you know the kind of tactical principles that 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 we want to adhere to throughout the season Duffy yeah. making a nice run up the uh, up the flank centers it looking for I believe that was Messini ball poked away Duffy recovers nicely T Winkle as well. A little bit of a ping pong action there. And here come the subs on Moss. So we've got 11, we've got 17, and someone. And then we got 10, 21, and 24 for the Raiders. And 14. Tiger substitution. Tiger substitution. First here one of the night. Is. Let's go, Raiders. Dropped off for Wistie here. So it's Chuckles checking into the game, as is uh, Emma Blank and Livy Boyley for. Hudson, and uh, we've got number 11, Cameron Lahr, number 14, Peyton Truslow, and number 17, Alexa Cromry, getting ready to check in for the Cardinals. Oh, and also number 10, looks like she's coming in as well, Grace Christie. So tons of subs. And you might as well, as we enter the uh, 65th minute of play in this match. And... Uh, Oh, I guess it'll stay at three. Yep. Maybe? Yeah. Maybe ten's not coming in. We'll have to see. So Hudson here, this is about the deepest they've had the ball in their half, and I'm not sure when. Yeah, on the ball. It's been a long time, and uh, it's been scarce uh, right. as to when Chippewa Falls has had possession in Hudson's oh, territory. Oh, that's a great Beautiful through ball. Through, yeah. Lovely through ball in there. Stella Duffy takes one touch, shoots. Right on the money. It was a beautiful through ball, as you mentioned. And uh, yeah. just, it could have been another goal for Hudson. And I'm sure for Chippewa's sake, they're happy that it wasn't. But uh, so good, good to see Hudson continuing to be on the aggressive. Now entering the game for the Cardinals. Number 11, Cameron Lahr. Number 14, Peyton Truslow. And number 17, Alexa Cromry. Into the game for the Raiders. Number 10, Emma Blank. Number 21, Lauren Chuckle. And number 24, Libby Boyley. So, lots of subs into the game. So, the opportunity now, again, for some, some bench players to earn some more playing time with positive performances here in the last 25 minutes of the the second half. Yeah, I think so. It's the third time of the night. Yeah. I think we're good now. Lewis to <laughs> Myers. <laughs> here we go again. Oh, Ooh, wow. Looking a bit more of a chip there. Still not able to connect, but I tell you, the uh, the rush is on now. It's just wild, crazy attacking play. Yeah, Hudson has kept their foot on the gas pedal, and they're not really letting up anytime soon. Nope. And uh, even though Chippewa Falls has suffered plenty through this game, Hudson uh, has a chance here to extend it even farther as we have plenty of time left to go in this match. Whoa. Just wide, though, Whew. of the, of the uh, uprights. Sky high there. Yeah. 
And the Raiders are riding sky here. We're in the 67th minute of play of a Big Rivers Conference girls soccer match. Hudson leading, like I said, Chippewa Falls, 7-0. This Chuck Bubbles with Brian Moes. We are uh, joined by our expert audiovisual <laughs> master, Adam Shakes Tilson. his head right away, too. <laughs> And, and I think really the, his best quality is humility. <laughs> Adele Duffy on the ball for the throw in. A little bit of a miscommunication there, cleared up by the Cardinals. Another throw in for the Raiders. As Lily Watsak. Gets ready to check in for Hudson as well. Cardinal throw on. This, who as as you change out who's playing in the game, can they maintain that level mm -hmm. of play? Can they maintain that style of play? Can they maintain the you know the aggressiveness that the the first team has? Ooh, that was just kind of a push. It seemed like. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then, obviously, most importantly, can they maintain the clean sheet? Yeah. Nicely won there by uh, Boyley. Yes. Chuckle stepping in, turning. Swings it over to Kenzie Myers. Kenzie looking for Ani Lewis. Not quite there, but then uh, stepping up and winning the ball. Plays it down the sideline. Ooh. My Lewis looking to keep it in, unable to do so. And here comes 10, here comes 21 and 22. And uh, as you mentioned with the clean sheet, 6 now into the game and the 7 Cardinals, better. number 10, Grace Christie. Number 21, Katarina Gardo. And number 22, Cameron Hagen. Entering the game for the Raiders, number 4, Lily Watsak. So, more substitutions. Myers. Pokes it out for a Cardinal throw in. Hudson's goal differential across the state might look pretty good after these two games right. if it can reach. Uh, it's already at plus 13. And they and lost uh, two home games. They won. were in the Madison area this weekend. They they won and they tied. So yeah, that factors in. But yeah, they're 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 looking to be a formidable opponent on their home field. Mm -hmm. They've really. Uh, carried the energy that they had in New Richmond and they've done a fantastic job against the Cardinals so far tonight. Oof. Wow. <laughs> there was a bump and a half. Haley Mason going here trying to get past two defenders. Great battle there though. Looks like she got a little bit of a tug as well but uh, lots of grabbing. Finally just cleared out I think wisely there by uh, Wistie. Throw in for the Cardinals. Mason certainly giving every ounce of energy that she has for her team, the senior. <laughs> Everyone just trying to stay warm at this point in time, I think. Yeah. Ooh, nice little ball cleared into the middle there. Giving chance to center forward. Wissy's on it. Oh, oh, gets stuck under her foot a little bit. Fortunate for her, the Chippewa Falls forward fell down. That was a, an opportunity. Blank here now on the ball for the Raiders as they look to counterattack. Up over the top, into the space. And for a that's, stretch uh, That's there. Morgan Brozak, actually. I think I said Stella Duffy a little while ago. And that's oh. Morgan Brozak <laughs> chasing down there. Great job by, by Morgan pressuring the defender and winning a throw in for her team. And Brozak for a stretch there, going stride for stride, catching up with the Chippewa Falls defender, doing a good job of staying aggressive. And that's something that you want to see as uh, Hudson, even though they're in the lead, that you want to see their backup players uh, continue to be on the forefront with scoring. Yep, absolutely. Mm. So as uh, the time gets milked away here, Hudson will continue to have it in Chippewa Falls' defensive, defensive end. Hudson has really kept it on the attack all yep. night. Yes. It's, 
it's been a dominating performance. Mm -hmm. Ball loose in the middle here in the six yard box. Still not controlled. Finally picked up there by Bailey Crawford. There was quite the scrum there. Yeah. Rugby like. Mm -hmm. But uh, Crawford comes away with it. Looks like none the worse for wear. One of many times that the ball has been free uh, right next to the goal. And uh, Hudson. Ooh. Right. We're getting the kisser there from Andy Wolfram. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, not very friendly. <laughs> Adele Duffy. Overlapping run. Playing it into the space. Nicely cleared out there by number 21, Katarina Gardo. Good positioning from the central defender. Myers now to Wolfgram. Wolfgram up over the top there. That's his uh, Watsack. Carrying it down the line. Looking centrally for uh, for Quinn Williams, but it's cleared out. One back by the Raiders. Again looking for Williams. Need out and kept in. Nice job. Great effort there by the Cardinals. <laughs> Wistie wins it. Good, good, tough battles in the middle of the field right now. Chuckle comes away with it. Overlapping run there by Myers down the flank. Carrying into space. Defender coming. Centers it. Finds Williams. Williams stops. One touch, two touch. Turns. Gets the shot on oh. frame. Crawford deflects off her hands. Able to keep it out. Great opportunity for the Raiders. Yeah, they've continued to play well attacking-wise. And... Uh, Plenty of times, but in the second half, they haven't let off at all. They're continuing to just, you know, keep beat, you know, keep giving it to mm -hmm. Chippewa Falls, not really showing them any sort of uh, slightness. Yep. If they were uh, a song, I'd call them Uptown Funk. <laughs> you know, I don't think I need to explain that. <laughs> Lucy Burtek getting ready to check into the game. For the Raiders coming in to play defense, it looks like. Nope, maybe going up and dropping Lauren Chuckle back. Entering the game for the Raiders, number 19, Lucy Abertek. So the freshman in for the Raiders, she's going up top, played a little goalie for the junior varsity team earlier tonight, and now she's uh, playing forward for the big, for the big girls. Mm -hmm. Again, just Crawford struggling. Oh. What a shot by Williams. Just a bit wide, Laces though. Laces it just wide of the goal. She had the whole goal open there. I think just takes her time and mm -hmm. placement over power. Ooh, Williams wins that one. That's deflected off the hands. Williams. Oh, <laughs> once again, just wide a goal. Post. Just was always running away from goal, that one. Is that a hand, was that a handball? Um, it looked uh, like it. I, I see that the center ref did not judge it to be a handball, so therefore it it's was not, not a handball. handball. Not a handball. Sort of like it wasn't a double dribble. Sort Too of, soon? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't feel like Virginia. I mean, I digress. You know, Virginia, <laughs> Virginia won a good game, but Texas Tech and Auburn, there were some questionable calls made. Texas, Texas Tech was the review thing, though, where they went to the <laughs> they went to the replay for, like, five straight minutes to call oh, something. Oh, what a great job by Williams there to step in front, just aggressively pursuing the ball. Cuts it behind the defender, gets the cross off. Falls there to Myers. Myers unable to get the ball up from under her feet. Raiders still on the ball. Watsack now carrying it, crossing again, deflected up by the defender, back to Watsack, again crossing it. Mm. Lucy Burtek just all over the place, just unable to get a foot on the ball, and it's out for a corner kick for the Raiders. One of many so far for the Raiders. And another chance for them to make it 8 nothing potentially in the uh, 76 minute of play. Let's see what happens here. Mm. Nice save there. Really nicely done by Crawford. She's still Into showing traffic. fight. Even though there's only about uh, 14 minutes left to go in this match, she, she's still uh, not really rolling over and dying so nope. far. Well, and, and she's, I think, I think to her credit, throughout the game, she's just been very aggressive, mm -hmm. controlling her area. Um, oh, lovely through ball there. Here comes Morgan Brozek, lining it up, crossing it. Lucy Burtek looking to get on the ball. 
I think she was expecting a little bit more of a driven cross and, and yeah, it was a bit more of a dribbler. Rosa kind of yeah, yeah. Laid, laid it off a little bit, looking for a later runner. And uh, it's blown up in here. Everything's <laughs> happening. <laughs> Delacroix over there is just uh, pumping the beats up here in the press box. I wonder if he's uh, related to that famous mineral water fortune. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we uh, have someone who's banged up a little bit. Yep. Triple falls player down. 70th minute of play. Is it running clock now that it's 7 now? Uh, the referee's not indicated and now just oh, has indicated okay. to stop the clock. Good catch. Here comes the uh, trainer. Well bundled up. <laughs> and looks like we're going to have a substitution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks like number one, Ellie Osmond's going to check in. To the game. Stretching her out. Maybe looks like she got a cramp, possibly. Cold nights and hard cramps. A bit rough. Is that a uh, is that a Hemingway novel? No. I feel like it was. It was I mean, it, it might the, it might have been. Uh, it was the best of times. It was the coldest of times. <laughs> <laughs> what other what other might have been accidental inspiration? <laughs> right. Let's see. On a field in Wisconsin, they're laid a cardinal. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, that's, that's my that's my Tolkien homage. <laughs> Yeah, on a cold field. Yeah, just stretching her out over there, which is nice to see, right? Fortunate that she's not fortunate that she's not injured, just Yeah. Yeah, it would be rough. something she can get up from and Yeah. It would it wouldn't be nice for Chippewa Falls to have one of their players go down with an injury, like especially in a, Yeah, especially in a tough game like this one where it's obviously going to be a loss. Yep. Yep. Oh, here goes the. Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that a tiger warm up then? Is that what we're calling that? Yeah. If you have, if you have one, Solemn. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten players. Yeah, Solom has been doing that though consistently with uh, his players. Uh, even in the New Richmond game, too, where yep. it was pretty much frigid in the second half. Mm -hmm. And uh, most, a good chunk of people have left probably due to those temperatures and the score yeah. being 4 uh, 0 at half. It just it keeps getting colder. It does. It was nice for a little bit, and then it just got snatched away. Yep. It's going to continue yep. this week, most Psych. likely. <laughs> is what the weather said. Psych. No, it doesn't. You know, but yeah, an open window in the press box is a small price we have to pay to bring the, the ones <laughs> or twos of fans across the world watching this <laughs> live streamed. <laughs> All one or two of them deserve the high quality HD feed, which um, Maestro Tilson is beaming to the universe. We don't know. Mm -hmm. This may be first contact. There may be aliens right now picking the signal up and saying, I want a piece of that planet because look at how fun that is. Yeah. Numbers. <laughs> we will uh, keep, keep with us, folks. And the game's back in play now. The ball's back in play. It'll be check on it. Ooh. Oof. Slide kicking it out is Crawford for a for a Raider corner kick. It'll be nice to see the total be a whole single digit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, what's going to be higher, the number of live streaming fans or the number of inches of snow we're going to get the next couple weeks? Or the next couple days, rather. Ooh. Excuse me. Here we go. Chuckle towards the penalty spot. Hits the ground. Burtek hits it through, oh, right through the hands of the goalie. And Lucy Burtek scores, I believe, her first goal. Yeah. Goal for the Raiders. Scored by number 19, Lucy Burtek. Assisting on the play, number 21, Lauren Chuckle. Burtek from Chuckle. Raiders 8, Cardinal 0. And in reference to uh, viewing numbers, uh, it'll... Uh, It'll probably hover around four and six, yes. most likely, yep. for all for all three of those temperature, the, uh, I checked, snow I just totals. Checked, I just checked um, YouTubeViewers.gov, and they said there's a ninety percent chance of one to three viewers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Deflection. Uh, Myers aggressively attacking the defender, played out by Gardo. Another corner kick for the Raiders. 
Another opportunity to add to their lead. We can see, looks like some of the fans have Starting to file out, they've, yeah. They've tapped out. Yeah. Rightfully so, you know, sitting there on the cold bleachers. Huge driven ball, far post. My goodness, Brozek was there. Looks like it came a little more off her shin, a little less off her foot, and uh, out for a goal kick. Isn't that an Elvis song? A little more? Never mind, I don't know. My grandma would know from Aberdeen. She's yeah. a big Elvis nut. <laughs> My grandma for Amber Dean. That sounds like a sounds like a good <laughs> first album, <laughs> Mr. Mose. I'll uh, I'll relay that to Yam House. Yeah. <laughs> see how well, well see played. how that blows uh, over. Actually, I think that could be a Yam House song. My grandma yeah. from Amber Dean. Maybe. Goal kick. Raiders. Eleven minutes left here. Nice chance for some of these Raider uh, substitutes to show their stuff, show their metal. Uh, you know, I thought Quinn Williams has done a really great job of just aggressively pursuing the ball. Lucy Burtek obviously working hard in the, in the middle of the field there and scoring a goal in here. Here we go again. Another opportunity. Falls to Burtek. Can't quite wrap her foot around it. Takes an odd deflection. Goodness gracious. That almost curved into the net. And here comes the <laughs> 70, 80th minute. Excuse me. Another corner kick for the Raiders. So we head into the last ninth of the game. Ooh, and uh, it'll... <laughs> thank you. You, you uh, were... Who's your, who's your math teacher? Because oh, they deserve I, some credit. I owe it. I owe it all to Robley this year. Robley. Robley. Big the, shout uh, out to Robley. She's the uh, cheer coach, if I believe. Yep. Right? Is that the right term for that it? Is. Cheer? I couldn't tell. I think it was cheer and stunner if it was just yep. cheer. But they do a good job too. They uh, do a when great I job. did when I did basketball and they were there, very well choreographed. Yep. Yeah. Really, really strong program. And Robley's done a great job over the years building that program up to what it is now. Mm-hmm. They also have a pretty uh, cool poster for their <laughs> for their season. Did you see it? Oh, no, some of the classrooms. Huser it. has it. Uh, I'll have to check it out. Probably his last new poster he's going to have since he's retiring this right? year. And it's congratulations uh, to Mr. Huser. Yeah, illustrious teaching career yep. so far. Yep. I feel I, bad though because my sister, who's in eighth grade, won't be able to be in his classes. And I told him, "Can you hold on for one more year?" <laughs> <laughs> hold on for one more year. I think that's a song too, something like that. Pretty much anything could be a song title if you think about it. It's getting real deep here, folks. It has been. Solving the world's not, problems. <laughs> not much, here not comes much else now. to talk about. Brozak on the ball, turns past the defender, centers it. Burtek, first time, picked up by Crawford. I feel like Bill Walton commentating, bringing up all this unnecessary stuff. Have you seen him? Do you, do you, want, me to, do you want me to start talking about Grateful Dead's show to start <laughs> to back in the 70s? Because I could do that if you want. <laughs> Have you heard Bill Walton commentate Pac-12 oh, basketball? I, um, I'm a big fan of big Bill Walton. He's, yeah. He imparts wisdom that really no one else can. Yeah, he was uh, talking about... Uh, like Just letting that run out. You know, if I'm Chippewa Falls, I would want to see them really pursuing that ball a little bit harder, getting mm -hmm. after it um, when you're down like that and just maintaining that effort. But uh, Continuing to play well. I mean, maybe not well, but continuing to be aggressive at least right. and trying. You can control your attitude and your effort, so mm -hmm. make sure that you're you know, doing that to the best of your ability. What a turn by Brozak. Nice. Just overly aggressive. That, that first person defending is, has just been a struggle for Chippewa Falls all night. They're just getting out of position by being too aggressive. And, uh, you know, the pace of their runs are getting too close. That's, Hudson's really done a nice job, to their credit, of taking advantage of that, of the over-aggressiveness. Williams again there. Plays it to Myers. Myers takes a shot. Nice. Just peppering Crawford. Yeah. Keeping the... Uh <laughs> Keep keeping herself warm in there. Yep. In goal. As opposed to McKenna Olsen, who I'm not sure recalled her name yet tonight. So, hey, McKenna, shout out to you for a great oh, job. Oh, yeah. That. I could, that completely slipped my mind. Yep. That uh, we haven't said her name so far until the 83rd minute of play. You know what? If I'm a soccer coach, the number one thing I want is that the announcers never call the name of my goalkeeper. Oh, yeah. So, I feel like we're pretty good if we're. Uh, for Hudson. Through to Brozak. Can she keep it in? Looks yes, like she, she can. Yeah. Crosses it just a little bit behind Burtek. Moves out of the way. Picked up there by Blank. Crosses it over. No. Brozak dropped it off. Burtek can get onto it. Looks like that's number 17 over there. Cromery for Chippewa Falls. One back by Brozak. Cuts inside two defenders. Past a third. Looking to lay it off. Out for a goal kick, entering the game number eight now for the Cardinals, Hannah Golden. 
Now entering the game for the Cardinals, number eight, Hannah Golden. So Golden into the game. 84th minute here. It's time to ride this one out. So again, a strong start to the uh, to the season for the Raiders. Mm -hmm. Three wins. The the two that we've seen here at home have been just like I think dominant blowouts. Or oh yeah. About the only way you could describe it. And so a lot of positives to build on. Um, what what do you think are the things that they need to focus on improving on? Probably finishing. Uh, some of the, the the games that they've played at home could could have been potentially you know double digit wins if they just finished a bit more on shots and that feels a bit like a nitpick and it is but you know because wins are wins but it would be nice for them in the future especially when they go up against real competitive teams that match their level that they can yeah. finish uh with you know a high ability yeah you just see some of the shots even here at the end where they're they've got these uncontested shots and they're kicking right at the goalie mm -hmm. and uh you'd like to see them finish with a little bit more accuracy because goalies with great positioning are always not going to allow uh, shots like that to go right through, you know, just shots straight to the goalkeeper's chest is not really going to do you any favors once we s once uh, Hudson starts reaching deeper into the schedule. Yep. <laughs> Another opportunity here for the Raiders on the corner kick. Right oh. at the goalie. She took a little bit of a bump out for another corner kick. One interesting nugget about this game, all four flags are still standing. Hey, wind, you know what? Wind is not as bad as it was last week against New Richmond. Yeah, that was that really was something at the start of the game where it looks like the, the, the <laughs> trees on the other side of the field were going to blow away. Here we go, another corner kick. Love. Oh. I was going to say lovely service, but. Put it right in the bread basket yeah. up on top. Could have. Uh, reach the cookie jar. Well, it's fans have started to uh, started to roll home, but, you know, mm -hmm. I'm holding out hope that there's somebody out there somewhere listening and enjoying <laughs> the silky smooth sounds of uh, Brian Mose and, you know, my attempts at accompanying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice tackle there. Lauren Chucklenock carrying it up. Quinn Williams, Ooh. first time over there. Myers lets it go. Duffy onto it. Finds Williams' feet. Williams looking to slide it through for the run of Myers. Unable to do so. But uh, Lauren Chuckle picks it up. Williams again now finds Burtek. Burtek looking for Myers. Just, I think, yep, a little bit too far for her. Good setup, though, on the uh, scoring chance. Trying to make it 9 0. Yeah. And you like to, again, you know, if you're talking 87th minute of an 8 0 game, you like to see that they're looking to combine, they're looking to be active off the ball, make runs, that they're looking to play the ball into that, you know, into space, penetrating passes. The, the things that they're trying to do there are, are positive things. Mm -hmm. And at this point, it doesn't even really need to. Uh, Wolf Graham over. It doesn't have to end up with a point on the scoreboard, even though that would be nice. Uh, right. It's just about execution. Yes, it's it's about you know getting those players that they can play at that at that level of the first of the first stringers. Mm -hmm. Great job down there by the right flank. Better job by the defender stepping and taking the ball away. Brozak stays with it. Cuts inside. Really, what a lovely move! And then a little outside the foot cross there. Falls to Williams. Williams takes a touch, lets it settle, shoots, falls back to her. Another shot, falls back to her again. Oh. Can't quite connect with that one. Finally cleared out, but only as far as Emma Blank. Blank cuts inside, left-footed shot, turns into a cross. Can we keep it in? Yes, she can. Kenzie Myers, nice job, Kens. On her right foot. Oh, ouch. Deflected off the defender. She didn't look like that. Felt real good. <laughs> right to the midsection. And Adele Duffy there, back into Kenzie Myers. Lovely cross. Oh, def headed up by the defender. I thought that was going to go in. Oh, off the post, off the crossbar, not in. I think that was correctly judged to not oh. be a goal, but that, is ladies it, and gentlemen, is a goal. Is the that question an old is, goal? who I scored think it? it? Was. Uh, looks like they're congratulating. Maybe was that uh, I couldn't Emma Blank, or was that Quinn Williams? Maybe that got it. Looked like they were congratulating Quinn Williams, so we'll say it was her. 
goal for the Raiders, scored by number 22, Quinn Williams, in the 88th minute of play. So, uh, whether it's in Hudson, Wisconsin, Texas, or Toronto, it's, uh, <laughs> it's official, folks, I think. It's been official probably since <laughs> the 60th minute. <laughs> it's been real official. But, uh, again, you like, to, you like to see that, I think, also in these cases. Yeah. When you're talking high school sports, you're going to at times have some pretty significant talent disparities. And mm -hmm. you want to see that the, the kids are playing the game the right way and that they're playing fair and that they're having fun. And I think both teams did that. Yeah, no uh, real sense of recruiting or anything like that. I mean, unless it's under the table. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's come on. It's not like people pay to get fake test scores and scholarships for their kids to go to, you know, elite colleges. That's not. Come on now, Brian. What did I say? Did you uh, see the? Uh, now I can't remember her name, but she was a character on Full House. Lori Laughlin. Uh, someone in the crowd as she was walking out of court yelled at her, "Pay for my tuition, Lori." <laughs> it's probably the best moment from the whole <laughs> trial. <laughs> she did. Nice. 89th minute, entering the 90th minute. This is uh, this is all she wrote. It's been uh, it's been a, a th as dominating a performance as I can remember seeing. They, the Chippewa Falls just did not get their foot on the ball at all. No, and, and uh, you know, I think that's again you can't take things for granted. If you're if you're the more experienced and the better team, you can't take for granted that you're just going to go out and win the game. And so to go out and execute mm -hmm. and uh, take an inferior team and put the game away and not let them get any any sort of air or momentum is a testament to Hudson. So we got 30 seconds left. Nice job, Raiders. Let's uh, let's close out the game strong and finish off a 9-0 shutout. Lucy Burtek might have a breakaway here at the end. Bert strong. Oh. Touch just carried it a little bit away from her. Burtek wants 10-nil. Right? Let's make it let's make it so number 1. 15 seconds left. Myers, Myers. shoots Ugh. into the bread basket. And that Ten, will probably nine, be the eight, end of it here seven, as we six, reach the end five, of the match. Four, three, Boot it away. Two, one. And it's over. Zero. And that's the game with the Raiders defeating the Cardinals by a score of 9-0. Congratulations to both teams on a well-played match. So for uh, those of us in Hudson and around the globe, for Brian Mose, I'm Chuck Bublitz. Thanks for joining us. For Adam Tilson, I'm Chuck Bublitz. Thanks for joining us. We will <laughs> see you guys next time.